Hello, all you lovely people out there. It's the man Carl. I'm here today for another give it a listen. Today's game of choice is Speedrunners. If you've not heard of this game, it came out probably about a year or so ago. Uh, I got super into it, and I kind of just forgot about it a little bit. Um, so this is me playing it after not playing it for a while. I am, In this first video, I am the white chicken. <laughs> Um, it's a really cool game. Uh, I think it's still pretty cheap, but basically it's like your superheroes in the city and you're trying to race <clears throat> to get to crime. And uh, you basically just compete with other people online and you get like items and power-ups and you have a grappling hook. And you're basically just trying to maneuver through the levels as fast as possible. And it's a lot of fun. Um, it's pretty tricky. I got my butt handed to me pretty bad in this video. Uh, but it had been a while since I played it. And yeah, it, it is a lot of fun. I, I don't know why I stopped, but definitely go check that out. But anyways, that's that game. Today... We're going to be talking about Donovan Wolfington's debut album. Stop breathing. You're like, Donovan Wolfington, what the hell kind of band name is that? Trust me, man. These guys are hot. Um, this record came out, Community Records, about 2013. Uh, Community Records, they do free music. They're located in uh, New Orleans. Uh, got involved with them a while ago. They kind of formed a lot of my high school music taste with they have a lot of they put out like punk and ska and all sorts of really cool stuff and good stuff and it's all free as well so there's a lot of good people out there in the music industry <laughs> but anyways Don Wolfen stop breathing I'm trying to remember the first time I listened to this album uh, I think it was probably just because like I was on the community records website and I was like oh what's new here and I was like I found this record um, so what wow, what to say about this album uh, first off it's if you're wondering what kind of music it's punk kind of music also you could even argue it's pretty emo uh a bit depressing at times and grungy it's so more, more like a punk grunge kind of feel to it uh very angsty energetic passionate emotional vocals uh just really cool stuff um i know i listened to this i don't know why but i remember like whenever i would come home from uh, college on the greyhound i would put this record on and i would listen to it it was like a tradition or something i don't know but it was weird but yeah, it did, oh man, it's very, 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 very good, good record. Uh, I would definitely call it like a soul-searching record, if I had to say so. I mean, it's very, very emotional, very personal, um, in my opinion. It's definitely something that can, like, if you're feeling, like, depressed or something, you put this record on and things would be a little bit better. But it's great. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, first track on the record, Die Alone. My god, it's dude, probably my favorite off the record. Um, just really cool contrast with, uh, the quieter, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe more like laid back, I guess, in terms of the rest of the song, but like the, just the, the intro to it is, is very contrasted to when you get into like when it first punches in and it's kind of unexpected at first, but man, it's so heavy. The vocals just, just screaming his heart out. It's, it's awesome. Not like, <sighs> Not like like metal screaming, but like very like emotional, angsty screaming kind of. Um, so yeah, I, oh man, I love that track. Very depressing though. Uh, that's it's a sad one. But then it's it, this. I feel like this album is very two faced. You know, you get you get a lot of like the heavy stuff, and then like uh, there's a lot of songs on here that are pretty much like the polar opposite. It's very interesting. It's very like bipolar, I guess. Uh, but the next track, Spencer Green, is also an amazing song. Uh, what really gets me about that song, if you give it a listen, the the chorus, the guitar hook in the chorus, you'll know when you hear it, when you hear it, man. That is, it's just so jamming. You, you got to go check it out. <laughs> um, yeah, just uh, another big contrast. Then after that is Coca Cola, which is very very different from uh what they've been hitting you with on the first two tracks. But the, what I what I really like about this album is there's a lot of like big build ups and then like they really deliver on the, the release afterwards. I think it's really cool and they do a, a really good job of that. Um let's see, more songs, more songs. American Spirits. Right, 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 right. Oh, dude. The bridge in this song, I just <laughs> I I'm looking at my notes. I have the heaviness on the bridge is so good. Yeah, it is. Go check it out. <laughs> but yeah, and then, I mean, and after that is another huge contrast with the song Love is Natural, which is, uh, I mean, it starts off, like, really, really different. It's, it's, it, this album kind of goes back and forth and back and forth, which is kind of cool. But, uh, you listen to it all the way through, it's, it's great. Um, it just, it feels like it should be that the way that it is. Um, what else do we got on here? 
Oh yeah, okay. So, and it, it also is fairly short. I mean, how long is this record? It's yeah, it's only thirty two minutes, so it's a pretty short one. So you can definitely go and listen to it. Um, but then after that, you can do the track Ryan Rowley, which is probably like the most punky kind of song on here, which is cool. And I wrote down there's about halfway through there's this really really cool tempo change that I feel like was so well done. It's it's great, man. It's great. You gotta go check it out. Um, the the two songs after that aren't aren't I don't I feel like they're not as memorable as the rest of the record. But then you get to High Life, which is the closer. And what I really like about this song is the beginning. Um, they have it kind of started off where they have it, like the track reversed, and then they play through it normally. But what I really like about it, it's like the uh, you get like the lo-fi acoustic guitar sound. Oh, it's great. And I think there's some there's some horns in there if I'm not mistaken. It's it's you know. When I when I go do a thread and I listen to this, I usually uh, I kind of just like click on the tracks so and remember what's what. Because honestly, I, I usually forget what the names of a lot of these songs are because I just put the album on and I listen to it. That's just how it is. Um, but yeah, it's got a really good chorus that song and, and the, the the cool lo-fi guitar in the intro. But it, it it's kind of weird how it just changes like halfway through. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. But uh, yeah, so my favorite songs in here probably Die Alone, Spencer Green, probably High Life. At least the beginning of it. Um, this is a super, super passionate, super emotional record here. It's, uh, I feel like it's got a lot, they, they have a lot of really good writing as far as, like, the music on this. Like, uh, the choruses are super memorable and catchy, and, yeah, that's that's what I feel about this. My only advice, when you listen to this record, you gotta play it the hell loud, man. This is a record you wanna blast, I'm telling you. But it's great, it's, uh, it can get you through some hard times, it's just a good jam, very well-written music, very passionate vocals, just... It's good stuff, you know, it's just some good rock and roll. Um, for fans of punk and grunge, I guess, go check this out. <laughs> uh, but that's it for today's episode. Let me know what you think if you give it a listen. Remember, this is my opinion. No one says it's set in stone or a fact or anything like that. Um, but yeah, check this record out. You can find it on Community Records. I'll leave you a link to it in the description. Um, so yeah, also check out Speedrunners, because it's a fun game, and you might catch me on there sometime. If you get it, let me know. I'll play with you. It'll be a good time. <laughs> uh, but that's it for today's episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a listen. Donovan Wolfington, stop breathing. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.